Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am filming another Instagram controls my day, but this time I am at uni, so you can choose what I do during the day, what libraries I study at, and what I'm going to eat, that sort of thing. The first thing that I got you to vote for is when I should wake up. I asked whether I should wake up at 6 or 8 and you chose 8. Thankfully you gave me more sleep which was perfect. So it is now 8.23. As you can probably tell, I haven't been awake very long. I've still got that groggy sound to my voice. I'm going to go make breakfast now which you did vote for me to go into hall and have like a full English. But unfortunately because I'm filming on a Saturday and not a Friday like I thought I was going to for various reasons we don't have the option of a whole breakfast at the weekend we have to go to brunch and brunch is right when I'm going to go to the gym so I'm just going to use the other option because it was very close anyway oh, so no, I'm no, going no. to have some porridge So my porridge is now in the pan I think I need more oats to be honest but Basically, when I make porridge, I usually use about three tablespoons of oats. I don't know how much that actually is. Sometimes I add more because it really depends how much liquid I put in. And I didn't measure my liquid today, but usually I use 250 mils. This is cinnamon, and I always cook my porridge with half a banana because it sweetens it. So here's the finished product. I added chia seeds into the porridge as well as on top because it wasn't thickening. I've got frozen blueberries, frozen strawberries, half a banana because obviously the other half is in there and some dates. The next thing that you guys voted for was for whether I should work here or in college and you voted for college so I am going to head over there now. I'm just going to wash up my dishes then go and work in the library at St. Peter's. I. Obviously I'm not wearing the outfit that you chose for me, but I am going to the gym at 11, so I'll be going straight from college. I'll get changed into a better outfit when I'm done in the gym. I forgot my phone, so I can't get in. Good start, Rosie, good start. I'm in Peter's library, I'm in the downstairs bit. So there's actually no one else here, hence why I'm talking out loud. I've got about an hour to finish my methods and materials section, which is also what you voted for me to do this morning. And then I have my gym class at 11, so I'll get on with it. and not a single person came in the whole time I was here which was perfect so I'm gonna go to the gym now I'm in a legs buns tongues class which you guys voted for me to do a lower body workout so I picked this class because it is mostly focused on the legs and the glutes I would like to do my own workout but it takes longer and also I have to plan it and right now I just need to do something that like someone's telling me to do be in and out in 45 minutes and still get a really good workout, so that's why I've chosen to do a class instead. about 12 I finished my workout as you can probably tell by the state of me that was hard but really fun and I basically really need a shower right now so when I get back I'm gonna jump in the shower probably make lunch and then get on with my work because I'm quite hungry and I'd rather have proper energy levels for trying to do my work because then my brain will actually function I know this river's kind of grim, but I really like walking past it every day because it feels like nature. But I won't fall, I am titanium. I want to 
It's finally dinner time. Lunch, dinner. I say dinner, you might say lunch. It's dinner, kids. It is finally dinner time and you voted me to have something pasta based, so I have decided to have these bad boys with some tomato sauce and spaghetti. Spaghetti! I really do look like an egg right now. It's like the perfect shape. Here is the finished product. I have the meatballs on top. I don't actually know what they're made of. Probably soya, chickpeas, peppers, spinach, onions, all fried. And then I added, uh, I added Sainsbury's onion and garlic pasta sauce on top and the spaghetti is underneath there. And I added soy sauce as well. I'm excited. Hey guys, it is 10 to 2 now, which means I've had a really, really long break. And this afternoon, it's gonna have to be hardcore. I am now wearing my outfit that you sort of planned. So you asked me to wear a colorful outfit instead of black and white. And you said you wanted it to be like wintery fashion instead of every item a different color. So I went for this combo. It's like a pinafore dress. Uh, with these flowers on. It's more autumn-y than winter, but I thought it was nice and bright, and I think it's pretty fashionable. Like, this is a dress, this isn't a top. I can bring my pinafore up. It's actually this full-length dress, but I like it with this over the top. I think it looks better. It's also a bit short without. I'm gonna get back on with my work now. I need to finish the materials and methods section because I've only got a few sentences left to write and then I can send that off to my supervisor to get checked. And I also need to do my introduction. I don't know if it'll zoom in far enough. But basically I've split it into three different sections where I've sort of tried to plan what I'm doing. This is like a mirror image so I really don't know what I'm pointing at. But I need to finish Whoa, finished my introduction. Which I've, oh my God, okay. That's so, so oh wow. Which I've nearly done, but I need to do like the expectations paragraph. So in a dissertation introduction, particularly for science, you have to have like geographical background, uh, biological, cultural background, that sort of thing. So you've got this big, big long background section, which essentially explains where your experiment is set but you also need to do <sighs> why am I out of breath but you also need to do a section saying why you're doing your work and what you are hoping to achieve from it so that's the bit of the introduction that I need to do yeah I'm gonna get on with it <laughs> very much debating moving my desk in front of the window. It would be completely in the way, but it might make my life easier and I won't have to use this stupid lamp all the time. Okay, this is what we're now working with. I've moved my desk to here, so it's got a bit more light. I also tied a bobble around my curtain so that it stays open. And yeah, I accidentally put my fingerprints all over the window, but whatever. I now have storage space down here. And my chair is in the little cubby hole over there. So, 
I actually quite like it. It is now 4pm and I have just finished my materials and methods section of my dissertation so it looks way longer than it is but it's actually only 1,800 words but it took me ages because I had to do a lot of research as I was going along about each different aspect that I've put in basically. So now I'm going to send that off to my tutor to get them to check it because I think it's more efficient to send off the individual chapters than wait until I've got the full thing because I don't know how long that's going to take me. And it's also easier for them, uh, the tutors, if I break it up for them, so yeah. I'm having a quick break now. I've got some chocolate milk and some apple. And I'm going to finish watching the episode of Riverdale that I started whilst I was eating my lunch. Your total to fifteen hundred dollars. Sorry, B, it's nothing personal. Yeah, I know it's yeah. just business. Apparently, it is 7.30. I'm not entirely sure how that happened um, or how I concentrated for that long. I haven't eaten, so <laughs> I'm gonna go cook my tea now. Uh, I didn't realise how hungry I was until I actually like looked up from my laptop. So for my tea, you guys decided that I needed to use curry paste in what I was gonna eat, whatever it was that I was gonna make, had to use curry paste. I have some korma curry paste in the cupboard and I'm gonna make a sort of curry. I like to just chuck everything in a bowl and then put some rice noodles in there. And it makes almost like a curry noodle soup. So here it is, I'm eating out of the Tupperware because the bowl's bigger, but this is my like, I don't know, it's, it is curry, essentially it's got curry paste, but it's just like a korma paste soup more than anything. And it's got like onion, chickpeas, spinach. I normally put peas in, but I forgot. And rice noodles. So yeah, I'm gonna eat that and you voted for me to watch Riverdale whilst I was eating it, so that's what I'm gonna do.